this channel does not promote or encourage any illegal activities. All contents provided by this channel is meant for educational purpose only. Just my opinion. And everybody's entitled to their opinion. It's a disclaimer. Everybody else is doing it. Why shouldn't I? The real honest truth. Now, before we start, I just want to say everything in this video is already in the public domain. All the information I've got, everything I've received, is in the public domain. It's come out of newspapers, uh, news articles, etc. So I'm not reporting anything different than what you could find out there. Just wanted to point that one out. Enjoy. So, people. We've been looking into the case of Paul Flaherty. So I found some pictures of the guy. In previous video, I told you, I explained the crime that he committed um, that was reported in the newspaper. Well, this is a guy, Paul Flaherty, 32, was found guilty by a jury at the Central Criminal Court for S assaulting a woman at his home in Tallaght in 2015. And that's just one report. And here's another one by Independent dot i.e. an Irish newspaper. It even made its way onto Twitter, which is now called X. Irish guy, one, goes by the shadow boxer, his real name, Paul Flaherty, a convicted sex offender from Allah. Someone's underneath, S offender, and convicted N. Irish Daily Mirror, convicted sex offender Paul Flaherty, 32, from Tala, South Dublin, was released from the Midlands prison last year. So what do we know about Paul Flaherty? Well, according to the papers, we know he was born round about 1990 from Tallaght in Dublin, Ireland, where he um, he was living when he was convicted. Um, so it roughly makes him, you know, 35 year old. So let's have a look at what he's been up to in his time, because I do believe he's a, an attention seeker, and he puts him out, he puts himself out there in the public domain. So let's have a look. Now this is a clip I've got of Paul Flaherty back in 2012, I do believe. Um, and he's on a TV show called Take Me Out, Ireland version. And it just gives you an idea of the confidence of this man. I say man lightly. Welcome back, Polly! Now, on that show, he called himself, or they named him, the G-String Stripper. So, with all this uh, guy, he's been a stripper, that's what his job was. I don't think he has any professional skills. So, that's just a flavour of what the guy looks like and how he behaves. What else do we know? Well, we know this guy is also a streaker, and he's suing the state. Well, let's find out what the streaking was all about first, eh? Irish Daily Star reported S assault streaker Sue State. The next con Colin McGregor takes case over jail assault. Now apparently he was uh, assaulted in jail and he decided to try and sue the state. So this report was on the 15th of October 2021 and Dubliner Paul Flaherty, 32, told the star he's in Thailand to launch a mixed martial art career as he wants to be the next Conor McGregor. A former stripper, streaker and TV dating show contestant who S assaulted a woman he met on Tinder is suing a prison for personal injury after a scrap he admits he was in. Convicted S offender Paul Flaherty, 32, from Tala, South Dublin, was released from the Midland prison last year and he has now led a high court action against the governor of that facility, alleging him personal injury stemming from the, an incident that occurred behind bars in December 2019. In an extraordinary phone interview with the star, the, del the deluded entrepreneur, <laughs> criminal, 
who said he was away in Thailand, also told this paper in a bizarre rant that he was going to become the next biggest thing since Conor McGregor. And he launched a mixed martial arts career. We know different, don't we? I'm going to blow up the MMA scene next year. I can promise you that I'm the next biggest thing since Conor McGregor. With the background story of what happened to me, people are going to see my YouTube channel, he claimed. Sounds a bit decoresque. But in 2018, a jury found Flaherty, who was once known as the infamous streaker in Dublin's Croke Park Stadium, guilty of S assaulting a woman at his home in Kiltipper Avenue, um, Dublin, on August the 31st, 2015. The incident took place while Fahati's parents were in the next bedroom and after he had met his victim uh, for drinks early in the day after exchanging messages on Tinder. Now Flaherty, who was released after two years in prison, is suing the governor of the Midlands prison for what he alleged was, the, was an assault on him on a landing of the jail. In our interview, Flaherty admitted that he was involved in a physical fight with another inmate, which led to the alleged incident. He is now, Flaherty claimed, he was assaulted during the alleged incident on December 30th and placed into a 23-hour lockup for the remainder of his sentence. However, Flaherty is not alleging that the prisoner he was fighting with assaulted him, but that the, uh, the alleged incident occurred after the fight. I was having a fight with another prisoner, he said, and when asked if that was a physical fight, he said, yeah. I was then heavily assaulted, he claimed. They knew my background. I'm a good-looking guy. I don't act like, like anybody else in there. They used this opportunity and they assaulted me. Upon learning of Fla Flaherty's case against the prison, we contacted him for comment and he went on a rant claiming his story had the making of a movie or a TV series. So we're learning quite a lot, aren't we, from this? We're learning that he's, um, he's delusional. Um, he's definitely delusional, isn't he? He's living in his own little world. Um, and he wants to be... He wants, he wants to be out there. He wants people to see him. Right. Are you all set with the record ready? You're about to plug the greatest TV show of all times. Are you ready? This is quotes from him, I do believe. This is a story straight out of a movie. An innocent man locked up, he said. In a victim impact statement read out in court in 2018, the victim said her life would never be the same again after Flaherty, a man twice her size, sexually assaulted her. It shouldn't matter what clothes you were wearing, but I wore my hair and what I said. How I wore my hair and what I said. Um, on the night, this man abused my trust, preyed upon my naivety and annihilated my human rights. He left bruises on my body, which have long since faded, and he inflicted scars upon my mind that will never heal, she said. But speaking to this paper this week, an un unapologetic Flaherty said, with the charge, it was a real effing kick in the bollocks. A life-changing charge that I have to walk around with for the rest of my life. Well, you shouldn't have done it, should you? Flaherty has set up a YouTube channel called The Shadow Boxer and claimed to this paper that he is about to become the, the biggest star in MMA as he launches his comeback. And I'm currently in Thailand and training for my MMA debut in Bellator MMA next year. So I'm over here now. It's a bit of a comeback story. These fighters are on a different level, so this is my comeback story, he said. I have plenty of fans. Everyone knows the story. It's a strange story, he claimed. Flaherty, whose crime was described by a judge as disgusting, which we've already seen, insisted that he's still going to fight his conviction, putting his victim through more pain. We will spend every penny we have, he said, in 2007 when he did a charity fundraising streak at a match in Cro Croke Park. He also previously appeared on TV3's Take Me Out and made headlines as a local stripper. But he went on to appear in the papers for all the wrong reasons after he was found guilty of a woman's assault. The woman said not only had she suffered physical and mental torture, but she had to relive the event during the trial which had left uh, trial where her life had been stripped bare and her character assassinated now we, we need to remember this that, that um, it's hard to speak about but you know anybody in a, um, an assault uh, 
crime. The actually assault is just the start. It's a terrible thing they have to go through. The fact that another human being is capable of inflicting such horror upon another was, and still is, so profoundly shocking to me. I no longer dream of raising children because the world seems so sinister now. And that woman, I mean, we've mentioned her before, but that woman is, is tortured, isn't she? The woman said every unfamiliar man now has the potential to be a predator, and she felt forced to give up the civil service job as she could not concentrate on her work. She feared walking. Right, we've, we've seen this. Uh, I, I, if you watch the first video, I've mentioned this before, and it's quite... It's quite difficult to read out, so if you want to go back to the first video, you will see see just what she has to say. Um, what can I say? What can I say? Well, there's one thing for sure. He's called himself the Shadow Boxer, so we'll know him as a Shadow Boxer from now on, and we'll call him the Shadow Boxer, because this creature has got a past. A terrible past that is heartbreaking because he's a danger. Well, the shadow boxer that I know has over 70,000k subscribers on his YouTube channel. Let's have a deeper dig and see just what he's doing today and how he went on with his appeal. Fool. Sorry, it's been a bit serious. Thanks for watching. Godspeed. God bless. Love you all to bits. Please subscribe, like it, the notification bell. And if you would, it'd be grateful and I'd mean it. It'd mean a lot to me because I want to keep the awareness up and get the exposure out there. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you soon for part three. Bye now.